We'll take questions. Leave your hands up in the air. We'll try to get that award. Coach, whenever you're ready. Yeah, you bet. Um, you know, good to get a win uh, and uh, get a lot of guys out there on the field. Um, they all put in a lot of work, and uh, there's that little window that you try to hit where you get the ones to work and you get the score where you need it to be. And, and uh, for the guys to play a quarter and a half, essentially, and get a lot of guys on the football field, uh, you know, it, was, it was fun to see them get out there and play. And, work on their execution. So I uh, like that we got uh, three more takeaways. You know, I think there's a mindset about our defense and three of the first four possessions to do that. Uh, you know, just really like the, like where we're at, you know, we're, we're hunting the ball and uh, offensively, you know, putting the drives there and over at the, the end of the first half, maybe, you know, had a field goal there, you know, just score in the red zone, get a touchdown. But um, for the most part, again, taking care of the football, uh, no turnovers and, uh, you know, getting the takeaways. And, you know, that's where it all starts. And so the guys worked hard all week long. Thought they really had a, you know, a good demeanor about them. Um, you know, working on themselves, themselves individually, uh, wanting to build on what we did a week ago, and uh, you know, going to the tail end of the season here. You know, I think relatively, um, you know, healthy as far as who played today, and and uh, you know, no one getting seriously dinged up. You know, for next week. Thanks, coach. Start the far right with Charlie. Yeah, coach. Robbie scored his first uh, touchdown of the season today. Just what do you think of that play, and what does he make your offense? Yeah, he's he's just kind of a Swiss Army knife for us out there, especially you know in the blocking uh, piece, and um, you know for him to get down the field, and they they put a lot of guys up towards the line of scrimmage. That's just uh, a part of what they do, and they've been very successful with it. Uh, number one, you know, at the FCS level in rush defense, but um, some play actions there that we got behind him on, and uh, for Robbie to. The hall went in. That was really exciting for our guys. Exciting for him. Um, you know, I love to see it. So he uh, he got a chance as a senior uh, to talk to the team last night, and you, know, you can just tell the love our team has for him. Um, how much they appreciate the effort he brings uh, each and every each and every day, not just each and every week. But um, he's got a mindset, a, a toughness about him. Um, you know, that just exudes what Alabama football is all about. Left side front row to Nick. Yeah, you had a chance to do a lot of work for your quarterbacks in today. What did you think of some of the guys uh, who came after Jalen and what they did? Yeah, um, Ty, Ty with some scrambles, uh, you know, the, the long one kind of along our sideline. Um, you know, I think people who really know and have watched Ty, probably all of you, you, you can see that he's got uh, that ability, um, can, can do things with his feet, you know, uh, and gets tied into Jalen and his running ability. But Ty, uh, Ty's tough to, to you know, handle it when it comes to running the football too. And so um, escaping, making some plays, you know, uh, the third down, throwing it deep, uh, or fourth down, throwing it deep, you know, um, that was, uh, they, you know, if it's picked off, it's picked off, you know. And so um, smart just to give him a chance and, you know, find a way to make the play. So, um, you know, and I thought uh, Dylan and Austin coming in and moving the chains, you know, Dylan on a fourth down, was it fourth down, right? Fourth down conversion, Austin coming in, um, laying a ball uh, in there along the left sideline for the touchdown. You know, there's that, again, fine window of uh, trying to let these guys run the offense and get that experience and get an opportunity to do what they work on each and every day. So I was proud of the way they just handled everything uh, from the, the execution to just even the procedural things where, you know, making sure guys are lined up before the motion, all of that stuff. So, you know, I thought it was a good day for all of them as a whole. Keep it on the left side to Tony. Or on your left, Tony. How big was it to get a non-offensive touchdown? And just is that one of those things that you guys can kind of build on? Is it yeah. almost like you break the seal with those? Yeah, those are exciting. I mean, they, you know, the, the guys uh, you know, talk about it, and you know, when they come up short and they think they had a chance to score, they you know they always hear about you should have kept it along this sideline or cut back. And uh, for us to to you know get him in the end zone uh, with that long return, it was uh, you know something that's exciting for the whole team because they. Um, have gotten the takeaways. Uh, we just hadn't ended up with one in the end zone like that. So uh, I love the mindset again. Go back to what the defense is doing. Um, they're attacking. Um, they're, you know, three and out is, uh, you know, what they're shooting for. But uh, right now, the position, position they're putting our offense in, getting points on the board now, too, um, it's, it's really good. Jump out there on the right side of Colin. Hey, Jalen. Um, kind of on that same thing, uh, why did you want to see, I guess, the defense play a couple more extra, or the first team defense play a couple more extra drives in uh, the second team offense, uh, you know, heading into the fourth quarter? Yeah, uh, well, I, 
I think, first of all, um, there's a lot of guys rotating in on defense to begin with. Uh, and so, I mean, there's a lot of young guys we already have on the football field uh, with the ones. And then, you know, there's less experience even when you put the twos out there. And a lot of that one and two is, is in rotation up front um, in the secondary. And then, you know, the score isn't completely, you know, lopsided. And when you start putting your, your next guys in uh, with the offense, you know, you want to be careful just to make sure the game can stay and nothing crazy happens. But uh, um, I know that probably none of you felt like it was in jeopardy. But, you know, those are just things that you want to be careful of. Make sure you get through the quarter and then get into the fourth. But, again, we play a lot of guys who are ready, you know, uh, before we even get to substituting, um, you know, they're in the latter part of the game.